Hello YouTube, Salivate Metal here, and we are live here on this very day, this Friday evening. It is 6 p.m. on the eastern side of the United States, and <clears throat> right now I'm just talking to myself, but in the playback you will be able to hear it because there will be some viewers, but right now there's zero viewers, and uh, that's okay because I know that I'll get at least one person to come in here and check it out, so... That's good. Now we've got three people in, so that's good. That's a good. That's a good count there. Very good. <clears throat> so I hope everyone. Hey, Silver Hudson thirteen is first. Nice. Good job. There we go. Germany's second. So we have a, the good old USA is is first, which is awesome. And Germany's second. Leon, nice, quick on the draw there. B Davis is here. RB fifties here. Tony's here. Eleven Robert Eleven's here. Silver Hudson thirteen is still here. After all this time, thank you very much. A friend is here, so good job. All right, we got a good crowd in here. Europe is representing with um, Tony, 11, Robert, 11, and um, uh, Leon above there. Very, very nice indeed. <clears throat> Today, we are going to talk about the three things in the title, whiskey, silver, and gold. Why not? You know what I'm saying? Uh, we're going to propose a toast, even though he doesn't really – swing by um here that much for the live feeds i don't know that i've ever seen uh baggins in here for the live feeds focus you stupid camera we are going to pour a shot of this in his honor little kentucky bourbon there and uh so yeah it's gonna be fun and we're just gonna have a good time talking about the precious metals and all sorts of different things very good so yes, yes indeed. And um, Eleven Robert Eleven has switched to rum. Silver Saber Triple Zero is here. Hello, so hello Silver Bull. And Nth Degree Drone is here. Sixteen pounds and counting. I guess that's how much silver he's got. It's a lot. That's a. It's pretty good. All right, very good. Oops, I went to change my title. <clears throat> I don't need to. Uh, so what is? How is everyone's week going? Good tips is here. Scotch, you know, I'm not really a, I, I'm not a connoisseur of the finer liqueurs, so to speak, uh, but I'd love to try them. I'm sure Silver Bull is drinking some light beer over there. So yeah, very good, 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 uh, good folks here. Very nice, very nice. <clears throat> and um, so we're just doing the thing here, wrapping up the week. I think a lot of um, a lot of interesting news happening. Uh, that can affect the the prices of silver and gold. I think uh, for sure, though geopolitically and in the markets. And there's been somebody that's been posting angel music or something like that. As at first, I thought he was a troll, but he's not. He has uh, been posting some things. And last weekend, he was right about the precious metals prices. So I kind of look forward to seeing his comments on the thread um, and see if he's, he's, he's very confident in his views and where he thinks the precious metals will be. And he thinks that, um, you know, the lows that the $1,200 gold low, that's, that's the, the bottom. We're not going to see that again. Hello, Silver Wolverine. Mr. Doe's here. So 11 Robert 11 worked hard today and it's a Saturday. So back of the work, uh, in the morning. So that stinks. He's got to work tomorrow. Hi ho, Silver is here. Is Denise thirsty? Well, well, you know, I've got twenty six people watching. Hello, Hydroconomist. Good to see you. Hi ho, hi ho. It's pale ale for you, you know, Silver Mountain. Just quoting some Silver Mountain there. Stack of Valley, Woodford Reserve is a tasty whiskey. Never heard of them. I have to check them out. Someone else had mentioned um, another type of whiskey I should try. So Silver Mana uh, says I should go ahead and drink up. All right, well, we might as well. We got 32 people watching, so I'll go ahead and pour me a little bit. I got to take out the gold here first. This is the silver, this is the gold, and this is the whiskey. And I'm just going to take just a very little bit. I wanted to pour a little bit in his his uh, his honor here as a thank you. Um, so let's see here. I'm going to undo this thing off camera here because it's on there pretty tight. All right. Very good. 
Mm, I'm going to smell it first. Let's see here. Mmm, it smells really good, actually. Wow. That smells terrific. All right. So I'm going to pour just this thing. This stuff is 100 proof. So uh, that means it's 50% alcohol. In fact, it's exactly 50.5% alcohol. So I'm not going to pour a whole lot in here because I don't want to get drunk in front of uh, all of you guys right here. We wouldn't like that. I And immediately upon pouring it in there, it's um, because it's, I've had this thing in the freezer overnight, it immediately cooled the silver and condensated it. Is that a right word? Condensated it? So now I'm going to have a little sip of this stuff and let's see what it's like. I don't, I don't, yeah, this is quality whiskey. You know, I may have put too much in this thing. <clears throat> and, um, and by the way, before I take a drink of this, Silver Husson 13 has a, uh, as you saw from the pr uh, previous video with him and I, uh, we found these things in, the, in metal detecting each of us and if you believe that i have a bridge i can sell you i really do own a bridge by the way anyways on a side note we each have one of these so i'm going to get together with him sometime and we're going to have a sip of this whiskey together all right so here we go we're going to take a sip are you guys ready here we go all right <coughs> dang wow Woo! That is some powerful, powerful stuff. And tasty. Man, cheers to Baggins. Yes, indeed. You know, it's interesting because it's strong, but it's smooth, too. All right, yeah, yeah, I forgot to, I forgot to actually cheers. To, <laughs> I forgot to actually do the toast. Thank you, people. I'm sorry I was so rude. Hello, CCT, by the way. Good to see you, CCT. And uh, is Baggins in here? Let me see if Baggins is in here. I don't, I didn't remember seeing him. Uh, Lady Lumberjack is in here, though. Let's see here. All right. Hello, Lady Lumberjack and A.G. Randall. Good to see you guys. All right, here we go. Okay, another sip, and this is to propose a toast. And let me just find that. There's the gold piece he sent me. A toast to Baggins. Another sip. <coughs> wow. Thank you, Baggins. That's great. And I'm going to try to be like um, Seattle and try to explain how it tastes. Yay, though, I'm not a connoisseur. This stuff tastes dang good, man, you know? I won't tell you about the notes in it because... When I think of notes, I think of music. But I guess it does have a smoky taste to it. I can taste that barrel in there. You know what I'm saying? It's smooth. It's sort of sweet, which is good. And uh, now we're going to pause and wait for some good tips from good tips. CCT and I are very curious about the good tips from good tips. He's in the side chat here. And maybe good tips can give me a good tip on how to make this camera focus. Crap. But I don't can know. I don't can know. <coughs> yeah, rich yet strong, a bold, smoky, deep wood age flavor. Yeah. And you see, the thing is, is I'm going to try to milk this whiskey for all it's worth. And I don't mean by pouring chocolate milk in it or anything like that. I mean just... Um, um, I'm just going to sip it, you know, just, just a little bit of time, like, you know, about this amount, that type of thing. But these cups are kind of hard to drink through because uh, it's concave on the inside. So it's, a, I'm going to have another sip here. Yes, the camera has had one too many. Let's have the camera. You want, you want a sip camera? Yeah, it's kind of fuzzy, isn't it? The camera's been a little fuzzy. That's exactly right. Yeah, I need to buy a decent camera. I need to get one that has manual focus. Shake camera if it's your iPad. Yeah, yeah. Oh, really? So the iPad will focus if you shake it? I never can do that, hi-ho. This is not my iPad, by the way. Uh, 
zoom out to focus. Well, unfortunately, this doesn't have a zoom function on it either. It is what it is. It's literally right there. So, yeah. Uh, let's see here. All right. Hey, Hidden Numismatist is here. Bada boom, bada bing, wing, boogie, boogie, oogie. Good to see you, Hidden Numismatist. It's been a long time. You've been hiding from my channel, I think. Haven't seen you around in a while. Bootlegs. Yeah, the smoky bourbon. I do like a smoky bourbon. I've had some before, and it's really good. Frederick Brand is here, and he doesn't have time to mingle, but uh, needs help from an Italian citizen on a coin expert license. Please message me him Italians. All right. Don't know exactly what that means. Maybe he's starting his own coin shop. I'm not sure. <clears throat> Anthony Green Drone, 21 here, and I'd check you if you appeared under 35. That's right. You always got to be careful. Hi ho. Hello, Wes. Bonk is more accurate. Resets the focus. <clears throat> so if you hit it, hit your iPad, it'll reset the focus. Mmm. Ah. Wow, that's tasty. Oh, I'm sorry, Hidden Numismatist. Um, some health issues there. Um, well, you are in our, our wishes and prayers, sir. Hope for a speedy recovery and that you feel better soon. I'm very sorry to hear. Hang in there, my friend. Let's see here. Good whiskey needs a little water in it to open up the flavor and aroma. You know, I've heard that. In fact, even Seattle had talked about that. And it seems like it would dilute it. You know what I mean? But, but maybe not. Maybe I should put a little water in this. But now I'm going to drink it straight. I'm going to sip it. Then after that, I'm going to get some coffee. <laughs> How's that? Should get the coffee as a chaser. What, what do you think of that, people? Yeah. That should give me about 17 more viewers, me just saying that. And instead, I lost two viewers. Crap. Uh, let's see here. Okay. Um, uh, some good question here by Silver Saver Triple O. What's your favorite one ounce silver bar? Um, that's a good question. I'm not sure. Um, I'm not sure what my favorite silver bar would be. I like the, um, oh, you know what? I like this silver bar. These Scottsdale bars are pretty freaking sweet. You know what I mean? I kind of like that silver bar just for generic. But there's a lot of good bars out there. There's a Prospector bars and others. I like that repeater pattern. The Johnson Mathes are kind of plain, but they're kind of nice or recognizable. I kind of like that pattern in the back. I'll leave that up for a while. So let's see here. Um... Okay. Bourbon and branch water. Bozo says. And Frederick says you can't export expensive coins older than 50 years without a license from the Heritage Department. Is that a Norwegian law, Frederick? That's, that's too bad. <clears throat> yeah, I guess it is. Some of these import-export um, laws are kind of tricky and so, yeah, you got to be careful with that for sure. <clears throat> All right. Tony's still here. Very good. <clears throat> good to see you guys. Glad you're back and here or never left. Geiger, yes. Oh, yes. Very good, B. Davis. I don't know what I was thinking. Yes, Geiger is probably my favorite. But he, I think he was talking about one-ounce bars. I'm not sure. Was he talking about one-ounce bars? Let me scroll back up here and see. Yes, one-ounce bars. And the Geiger one-ounce bar is kind of plain looking, in, in my opinion. Uh-oh, Leon's got it. He's, he's busy. His girlfriend's requesting him again. Oh, boy. Give us the uh, details when you get back. Um, intimate details, Leon. We need that. Stack bitcoins or silver, Frank says. Parson, hey, I, I'm doing all right. How you doing, sir? Hope everything's going okay with you. Saw your last video and hope uh, yeah, there's been some improvements since then. <clears throat> Okay, so apparently because of those laws, uh, Frederick has a, uh, a year of a very expensive coin stuck in Italy because of those laws. Easy Tigers getting ready for the London Coin Fair. Wow, that sounds exciting. That would be fun to see. 
Yes, very good. I have I signed up for the um Coinbase thing, but an exchange, but I don't have any Bitcoin yet. This stuff looks like tea. It looks like I can just 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 gulp it down like tea, but it's not tea. I gotta remember this is not tea. Hey, ratio is with them as well. Very good. No new silver yet, but I got whiskey. All right. So yeah, very good. Nice. Whiskey's always good. Whiskey in the jarro. All you need is a little bit. That's right. That's what I got here. Just a little bit to warm my tummy. And warm it, it does. Okay. All right. Leon is back with explicit details on what his girlfriend needed him for. And here they are. She needed him to fix a light. That was the uh, request. So like a good boyfriend, he did it. And he did it quickly. And he came back. And uh, so, yeah. Very good. CCT's got cheap Friday night beer. Nice. Always best. As long as it's got alcohol in it, right? Yerba Mate Tea is the bomb, Hydroconomist says. But he loves coffee. Whiskey and cherry coke for Silver Gator. Yeah, that's a good good uh, question. Or a good uh, combo nation. Snorting whiskey and drinking cocaine, Parson says. There you go. Kentucky Mules. Very good. My dog needs a surgery that costs about three ounces of gold. Whoa, torn ACL. That cost three ounces of gold, Silver Wolverine? That's crazy. Well, we love our pets. I guess, you know, wow. I don't know. To be honest with you, if my, if, uh, if my cat needed um, three ounces of gold surgery, <laughs> I'd put her down. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'd put it down. Uh, yes, it's gone up two people, nth degree uh, drone. By the way, what kind of drone do you have, nth degree? I'm curious. I almost picked the bottle up and started drinking out of it. Oh, you know what? I have still have my old Maker's Mark bottle, too. I kept it because it's a kind of a cool bottle. And there's still a little bit in here. See that? I might try to drink that real quick while you are here. Yep, I will try to drink it. Hmm. I'm going to get plastered on this. Yeah. Here we go. You know, that's got a little. Wow. That's got a lot more bite in it. Son of a motherless goat in heat. Wow. Uh, I'm officially plastered now. All right. Silver, gold, and whiskey. Mavic Pro, he's got. Nth degree's got. Nice. Yeah, I don't have... Um, I've got the uh, DJI Phantom... Three professional ganja all day, every day. Webster says, Not from, from me. Make a pale ale beer cheap, golden turd. Nice micro brewed, self brewed beer. How many more traders are going to plead guilty to rigging the PM prices? Yeah, I like, I've not checked it out to see what the shorts are. If there's been a lot more short selling, but yeah, it's quite interesting indeed. It's really been staying low. But let's see what where prices are right now. Hold on a minute here. I am going to look and see what the prices are now on gold and silver while we're here. <clears throat> Seventeen sixty one for silver, so it's going up. Twelve eighty one seventy three for gold. It's close. Wow. Crazy train. Silver tone guitars are gold top Les Pauls. It's gold top Les Pauls, Bobby Holiday. Good question. Sometimes 
it's easy to make a choice between gold and silver. Silver tone is um, kind of, at least from what I understand, I mean, we're hit and miss. Silver tone made some good instruments back in the day, and later on, they made some cheaper ones. Nth degree started with a Phantom 3 standard. Yeah, good drone. <clears throat> now they've got the Phantom 4 Pro with avoidance uh, detection on the front, back, sides, and bottom. But not the top. Not the top. Oh, Stephen Wells says one trader pleaded guilty today. Hopefully a lot more to come. Interesting. Wow. Okay. Yep, it's gone up, Aspian Man. Aspy Man, I mean, I'm sorry. Easy Tiger uh, 5000, UK election, 8th of June, may affect cable. Now, is this for the, um, what's this election for? Is it the uh, parliament, parliamentary PM elections? Members of parliament, MPs? Weed and coffee, Webster says. Douchebag bank. All right. Cool round size is good, yes, for gold, for sure. Very nice. I'm going to take, since we've got 52 members here, we had 54 just a split second ago, but two left. I'm going to take another drink here um, of this whiskey, Wild Turkey. And I'm getting a little bit warm in the tummy now, but hey, that's what it's about, right? Mmm. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, that's got some bite, but smooth. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> wow. All right. All right, let me read back a second. Focus myself and the camera and extend a multitude of drinkitude to you all. Uh, a general election for prime minister. So does that mean that Theresa May is, is up for her first election campaign and who's the other dude that's running against is it um jeremy what's his face all right frederick brandt hopes that uh baggins put rat poison in the in the uh, bourbon now that's not very nice frederick brandt you're not as good at at wishing bad things on me as alan gold is but that's pretty low i mean even for a Norwegian. No, I'm kidding. Most Norwegians are nice. I'm not going to uh, judge the, the whole entire country based off of the only person I know from Norway, and that's Frederick Brandt. And he's a racist, bigot, and homophobe. Jeremy Corbyn. Okay. Yep, he's a lefty. Yep. Uh, hopefully, Theresa May will stay in there. How how would you rate her compared to the great Iron Lady? Margaret Thatcher, who was probably a better prime minister of England than uh, Ronald Reagan was to the United States. German election uh, is in September. will be boring. It will be against um, um, Angela Merkel. And who will be the other dude running against her? And she's sort of right of center in her politics, I think, but um, uh, but I'm but I know she's more moderate. <clears throat> yes, Deutsche Bank is really awesome. Yeah, the Deutsch Deutsche Bank is um, uh, there was rumors they were going to go out of business, but they're hanging in there, aren't they? Yes, very good. If anything, to check out Channel Trailer. It's time for Merkel to go. Angela Merkel and the social, social Democrat Martin Schultz. Okay, that's right. I think I had it here his name today. She's avoiding debates and most live questions, 11 Robert 11 says about Theresa May, right? Mo Grass likes May, doesn't like May, but uh, she's better than Corbin. Yeah, Corbin's a pretty, pretty hard left from what I, what I understand. Parson doesn't like Reagan. 
<clears throat> well, I liked uh, Margaret Thatcher more than Reagan, but I liked Reagan. He was good. That was it was because of his policies that we had the um, the big boom of the 1990s. Well, the internet especially because it wasn't regulated. <clears throat> and essentially what conservatives believe is, is just essentially getting out of the way and letting the free enterprise system do its thing. Because typically when you do that, then there's prosperity, less regulation. And yeah, yeah. Hi Ho liked Ronnie plenty. I did too. Ronnie was awesome. Margaret Thatcher was, was, was great too. More left than Bernie Sanders, a Corbin about Corbin Modegrass says very well. If Corbin wins, he'll bankrupt the UK. Yeah, I can believe it. What do you think of Gregory Manorino? You know, I don't know much about him. I've seen his name on the um, channel or you know on some comments. I thought there was a time where he like sang some songs and it was really bizarre and weird. At least that's who I think it was. I'm not sure. I don't know much about him. <clears throat> uh, Aspie Man says, do you think the Libertarian Party has a future? You know, they ruined themselves. Two things. They, they nominated a, a weak Republican <clears throat> who um, was more left-leaning in some ways than Hillary Clinton and big government than Hillary Clinton. And they had a, uh, a uh, their convention was a total joke. I saw the debates, and at the very end of them, the chairman who resigned danced naked and on the stage. So they have a, they have a bit of a recovery to do. What do you think about uh, Cristiano Ronaldo? He's a good prime minister of Scotland. <clears throat> You know, I don't know much about him or Scottish politics, but um, I, I typically lean uh, towards the um, right side of the political spectrum, more of a conservative, less government type. So if he falls in that realm, then I like him, or I like his policies. I don't know anything about him personally. Hello, Big Lori. Very nice. Another European in here. Nice. Uh, bullion bug just bought some Norfed coins in one ounce size as my protest of governments in general. Very good. You know, the problem with the Norfed coins, well, they're not coins technically because they had a denomination on them. In fact, let me see if I've got one. I may have one here. I'll show you where Von Haas made his mistake. Let me see here. I don't know if I'm going to be able to produce this on demand. Uh, let's see here. Where is it? Where is it? I don't know where it is. I don't know. Let me see. Pardon me while I look. Not there. Crap. Thought I had one nearby. Because I wanted to show you about the Norfed dollar. Uh, let's see if this, uh, this might be it. Hold on. Crap. No, that's not it. That's a freaking dollar. No, let's see here. Crap. That's not it. Let's see if this is it. I bet you this isn't going to be it either. Nope. That's a German reunification coin. That's what I was looking at. That's not it though. Man, I want to find it now. I really do want to find it. Well, anyways, the problem with those is that he put a dollar amount on them. So when he put the dollar symbol and, and the number on them, not only did it get him in trouble, but it basically he sanctioned that which he was uh, protesting against. So that was a problem with those uh, with those coins, is he sanctioned that which he protest against by putting the dollar symbol on there and the dollar amount. And also, what happened was, like for instance, I have the one coin I was going to show you, coin round, was a ten dollar piece. Okay, and um, silver at the time was starting to climb up and was like twelve dollars an ounce. 
and you could use these Liberty dollars is what they were called and you could pass them around at the price and so when silver was at seven eight dollars an ounce he was making money on them because he was selling them for ten dollars but then when I went to what was known as the Liberty Associate in my local area when silver went up to eleven dollars I was like you know what I'm gonna go buy some and I'm gonna you know make money on them because you know the dollar amount was more than than that which which was on the coin and the guy I went to was too wise he was an older gentleman but he uh, charged me 12 bucks a coin or a round even though it was only ten dollars on them so I only bought a few of them so yeah very good and that story had just lost me about eight viewers so I'm gonna I'm going to drown in my sorrows now with the last little bit of this. And then I'm going to create awkward silence unless somebody wants to come in here with me for a little bit. Because I'm probably not going to stay on here too long this evening. Because I'm going to actually microwave me some coffee quick. So here, let me drown in my sorrows real, real quick about losing those viewers. Hold on a minute. Oh, my God. <coughs> ah whoo man yes yeah, a very warm sensation in my tummy right now and i've killed every bacteria known to mankind that might be harboring inside of my mouth right now and uh that little drinking episode gained me a viewer so maybe i should just Every drink, it gets me a new viewer. Maybe I should just keep drinking until I get a thousand viewers. What do you think? Then that's called, yeah, mix coffee with a liquor. That's a good idea there. Very good. All right. Okay, well, folks, uh, let me see. Is there anybody here that has access to email that wants to come in here besides Frederick Brandt? Anyone at all? Well, maybe even Frederick Brandt. I should drink drinking malt, not bourbon, Big Lori says. Nice. Malt liquor? Keep the string going all the way to the hospital. Yeah, that's right, but grass. <laughs> that would be fun to watch. <laughs> yep, until a few views go up. All right, very good. Uh, that's a good question, Silvergate. I'm not sure if silver, how sterling silver reacts with alcohol in this nature. I'm hoping. Um, Mr. Monkey Swag is here. Hello, Mr. Monkey Swag. <clears throat> good to see you. Your um, challenge was a hit, sir. Hello, Laney. Good to see you. Malt whiskey. Space, space side is what Big Lori recommends. Okay, very good. All right, prank call. Good time to call. Yeah, while I'm practically buzzing right now, it'd be a good time to do a crank call. Let's or a prank call. Let's see. Um. <clears throat> well, uh, let's see. I tell you what. Let me go microwave some coffee quick, and I'm gonna create some awkward silence here. And uh, so there'll be awkward silence for a moment. And while that's going on, you can look at this. Let me get that preview window up, make sure it's still there. Crap, where is the preview window? Look at this while for my English friends. Hello, Poppy Stuff. Good to see you. I was just about to go grab some coffee quick. Stick around. Um, people in the side chat here, tell people to not leave while I do this, okay? I'll, I'll be black.
<clears throat> and I just wonder if I should rest assured that no one's left and they've not left. Amazing. The intermission. Yes, give me some coffee. Thank you, Robert Morris. Yes, to leave is to die. That's right. Yes, Happy Trump took down the globalists. We haven't even talked about the um, the Paris Accords yet. Let's see here. <clears throat> now I'm going to be right back because I bet you that as a time I get back, that yes, I should have some elevator music or something going on, but then it'll probably get me a copyright strike. So whistle among yourselves. I'll be back again. Tony's still here. He can sing to you. Tony Ricci will sing to you while I'm gone. I'm on my way back in. I hope you can hear me. All right, let's see. All right. Crap, I lost two viewers. Dang it. Dang it. All right. Very cool. Nice. All right. Now, I've got me some coffee here because I drank just enough whiskey, bourbon, to uh, make me uh, feel a little sleepy. Mm. Ah, good coffee. Now I'm going to wake up a little bit. All right. Gold, silver, just love fiat. Leon loves fiat. Silver, the stuff in the ground. No thanks. Email you. Okay, let me see. Okay, what uh, What am I emailing uh, CCT for? I must have missed something up above. Poppy stuff loves my voice. Thank you, Poppy stuff. You're the best. Appreciate it. Waiting to hear Salby. Wide awake, drunk after coffee. Yeah, that's right. Coffee will... I've had a little hangover here. A little buzzy hangover. So what do you want me to email you, CCT? Oh, link, link. Okay. All right, right. We're going to have CCT join us here. Let me see. All right, nice. CCT will be in the house here just as soon, just a minute here. All right, nice. Now, wouldn't that be something if I emailed CCT and then just split and just left and left, leave, leave, left them hanging there? All right, now let me see here. Okay, compose. I hope I still, I, I know I've got, yep, cyber. Curtain Twitcher here. Nice. Uh, link. Send. I just hit the send button to see what happens. All right. We're soon going to have a British guy in here. Nice. It's so cool when I get British people to swing by in my... Mm. Frederick says that I only have cats. That's right. They're still alive, too. You know, I'm not hungry, Bozo. Believe it or not, I'm not hungry. Just, you know, I'm kind of playing it cool. Yeah, you can't leave, leave CCT just to have him come in here and then just split. Watch, I'll play a joke on him when he gets in. I'll say, I'll, bye. Cats rule, yeah. Like, I think one of these cats was running around somewhere around here or somewhere, but anyways, but yeah, oh well, hey, look, somebody's here. There he is. CCT is in the house. Oh, oh, nice. Look at that glass cup. And everybody else in the outside chat. Who needs glass houses when you have glass cups? That's what I always say. <laughs> yeah, but it's empty. Look. <laughs> it is empty. What did you have in there? Tea? Nothing. Nothing yet. Nothing, nothing. yet. Yet. The night is young. Well, maybe not for you. Whoa. Now, that is, a, that is a healthy drink there you've got, my friend. What in the Sam Hain is that? 
uh, cheap brandy. You're braver than I. I won't drink that much in one setting. <laughs> Whiskey. I'm experienced. Yeah. I'm experienced. Yes, experienced. Nice poured silver there. You've got the a lion's head there. The YPS lion. Well, I thought it was, it's a silver chat. Yeah, might as well show some silver. That's right. Very nice. Nicely toned as well. Yeah, I'm leaving that one to tone. Person plays saw the uh, the 1.75 ounce fortitude. Nice. And what did you see at uh, person place? Just curious. Oh, nice skull. Look at the, the color in that. Very nice. And cool the pull beans. here. Cool beans, Poppy Stuff says. Cool beans. Oh, oh, I, oh, yeah. All right. Hey, thank you, uh, Big Lori. Thanks for coming by. Yes, yeah, sleep well, sir. Thank you again for coming by. And they got a privateer, a toned privateer, too. Nice. Very nice. Mr. Doe, thank you for coming by. He's out as well. Thank you for stopping by, sir. I very much appreciate you all. Oh, it's a shame Big Lorry just left because I had the uh, Monarch of the Glen there. Look at that. Ah. You mean one of a these? Of, a bit of British silver. <laughs> yeah, it's just the same as that one, Sal, funnily yeah. enough. Yeah. yeah crazy. <laughs> Snap. <laughs> Thanks to you, I have that. I have not seen that. The Baird and Company. Baird and Company. Very, very nice indeed. Yes, but indeed. You, but you didn't get that one. No, I didn't get that one. That's right. The tiger. You know, I kind of like this one better, though, the, the moose head. That's cool. But I'm sure you've got a few of these, Sal. Oh, yes. Some eagles. Yes, that's right. Fly like an eagle. Let me see if I can find it. It's not around here. Shoot, it's not handy dandy right here right now, but you get the idea. Yours is nicely toned. It is actually that one, isn't it? Sweet. Cheers, everyone in the outside chat. Cheers to everyone. The outside chat. My, I can't get up above to show you the stuff inside there, but there's coffee in there. Believe you me, it's it really is coffee in there. There you go. That's my cheap beer. Oh, nice. Get a room. It's empty. And no, I'm not drunk. Nice. <laughs> I'm very good. Poppy Stuff says cheers. Stephen Wells says cheers. Mode Grass says cheers. A Friend says cheers. So I say, yeah. We, hey, if we have enough cheers, we can start our own network show and call it Cheers. Ah, crazy, crazy. Have we got any German viewers in tonight? Well, uh, um, um, we have one guy, Leon, is a German viewer. Yeah. Leon. Here, silver medal from 1912, and it got toned naturally. He got a, so he's still here. I think he's still here. Chime in if you're still here. Yeah, here he is. Oh, no, I can't get this. He's going to show you something here, Leon. Robert Morris is smart. He's only drinking water. Yes, silver... <laughs> Silver Mana, where everyone knows your name. Exactly right. We have, the, uh, we have a very unorthodox, unorthodox person in here, too. Oh. We have a bit of German silver for you. Ooh, oh, I love that eagle. Very nice. Nice, classic. Beautiful coin, indeed. 1859. So even older than Silver Hair Stacker. Even older, older than Pops, that's for sure. It's got some edge in the decoration there. Yeah. Piers. Focus for you. There you go. Ah. Nice edge decorations. Very nice. I have one from 1902 somewhere, but it's not handy dandy. Silver Bull is Scottish Irish. Who was on the front? Yeah, let's see who's on the front. Did you show that? Yeah, I did, yeah, but you were reading the side chart. There you go. Okay. Oh, well, nice. The guy needs some Rogaine, but that's okay. Wilhelm. Wilhelm. 
got a bit of a double chin too, but we'll, we won't hold that against a Wilhelm. Frederick Sorry, Wilhelm. Yeah. Coring. The uh, W is pronounced with a V, isn't oh, it, in yeah, German? V, yeah, V, yeah. Very nice, indeed. Cool. Oh, I didn't realize I had a Britannia, more British silver. Oh, blimey. There's a Britannia as well there, look. Oh, yes, that's a beautiful Britannia design. 1999 with the horses and chariots of fire. Very cool. Yeah. Love that. My birth year, too. That's your birth year. Wow, I didn't know you were born in 1999. Nice. <laughs> I wish. I hear you. <laughs> You'd be just turning legal age here in the United States to uh, do something, not drink, but join the Secret Service. Not the Secret Service, but the... Uh, <laughs> Frederick Wilhelm before he had a beard, Mr. Monkey Swag says. Poppy Stuff's mother is Prussian. Nice. Did she leave an impression on you, Poppy Stuff? <laughs> I just have got to know. Yes, she did. Okay, very good. Very good. Ah. Let's see here. Okay. I mean, I'm going to put this on my side for a second, and I'm going to show something very, very immaculate. No, it doesn't hide from economists. It doesn't, Canadian silver doesn't count. <laughs> what is it? What did he say? Uh, he said he doesn't own any British silver. Uh, British silver, yeah. Let's see here. What is, this is something. I can find it. Oh, you might like this. Got this in my LCS a couple weeks ago. It's the Van Halen coin, Panama. Van Halen, huh? If Eagle was here, I'd get him to play a bit of Van Halen on yeah. his guitar. Balboa. Ah, oh, they are awesome coins, aren't they, the Balboas? Yes, yes, I love this coin. I love the luster to it, the shine. The cartwheeling effect. The only thing there's only, but can you guess? And this is something that you may know, CCT. Yes. Which coin that does not have a cartwheel effect and is not silver that we can say is a cartwheel? Yes, the, the British cartwheel penny or two pence. Yep, two pence, two pennies. That's right. 1797, the only year of issue. Very good. Exactly. Damn, a few of those have passed through my hands. <laughs> nice. Oh, I have a quote from Half Dollar One. Yo, Adrian. I don't know what that's about, but. Uh, <laughs> nice quote, though. Yeah. So that's good. Yeah, Mr. Monkey Swag has a point there. He said the Balboas remind him of the walking Liberty Halves. Yeah, they do sort of. Yeah, they it. do. They do sort of um, like a crossbreed between the um, uh, the St. Gaudens walking forward like that. You kind of see a little bit of that. And the walking Liberty, which I don't have here with me, right, Canal? Mm, no, I don't think I have either, actually. Oh, yes, I do. Here, here, here it is. There's a walking liberty. <laughs> Silver Eagle. Oh, yeah, of course. I have one as well, don't I? I was thinking of the half dollar. Yeah. <laughs> you did have one after all. Amazing. <laughs> the cartwheel pennies are the first coins produced with a steam-powered press. Thank you, Mr. Monkey Swag. Didn't know that. Wow. That's correct. I've had a few really, really nice ones as well. Oh, really? Yeah. And they, you know, those used to be cheap here in the States, but they've really come up in price now. Yeah. Huge coins, aren't oh, they? I love Absolutely. That they're huge and thick. That's what I liked about them. Yeah. <laughs> Let me see. I'm going to have too many of them. Some chance I can, yeah. If I can find one of my. Sometimes I rotate a couple of these things around here, and I might have one in my person, but more than likely not. Nope. Don't have one handy or I'd show one, but they're nice pieces indeed. I do have a 10-ounce coin to hand. 
Oh, nice. Which my assistant will go and get for me. Oh, oh, that was me, people. I'll, I'll be right back and I get this coin for uh, CCT. There it is. Look at that. Wow. Kookaburra, 2,000 cook. Wow, that's nice. And that probably has quite a premium on it, doesn't it? So it's nearly as old as Leon. Not so yes, that's right. Nearly as old as Leon. Oh, here you go. Here you are. A bit of British, British silver. Look, a one guinea. Oh, nice. Wow, Betty's one guinea. Yeah. yeah. White chocolate. Nice. Now, if Betty's, let me ask you this about the Betty's one guinea. Does she have a papa, yeah. a new papa? <laughs> Sorry. She has many uh, tea rooms across the UK. <laughs> nice, nice, very nice. Nearly as big as my 10 ounce. Look. Sweet home Pennsylvania. I love that. Hey, I'll show you something here, CCT. I've never shown this. I'm going to do a separate video on this um, later, but uh, check this out. You might like this. There's a proof, I can see that. And it's a toner. If it'll focus, maybe I just, there it is. Here's a reverse of it. Mm, I've never seen that one. In commemoration of the visit yeah, of Queen Elizabeth to America. Wow, there you go. See, you learn something every day. I've not seen that one. And I like how it's toned too. You see how it's toned on the edges? Yeah, yeah. It's obviously a medallion. Yeah, it's a medallion. medallion. There's some edge lettering here that says um, medallic art. Yeah. Something rather, Dan rather, something like that, anyways. Is it struck in 958 or sterling? Uh, probably sterling is my guess. Let me look here. No, it's it's three nines fine. Oh, really? That surprises me. Yeah. I don't know if it'll focus. And you can see that. But, yeah, three nines fine. I love how that tone, though. I bought it that way. Yeah. This was actually going to be one of the uh, – Back when I when we did the melting videos, that was going to be when it was going to go in the melting pot. Oh no! Yeah, so I saved it from the melting pot. <laughs> saved it from the melt pot. Now let's go back to your screen. But that's a nice cook. How, how much um, um, do you think that thing's worth now? I have no idea, Sal. I haven't really looked it up. I've had it obviously has it pretty years. <laughs> that's nice. I mean, it's a. Beautiful coin. And you know, and you know, and, and I'm like you, to be honest with you. If I really like a coin, I don't really bother looking it up because it's something cool that we're gonna keep, then we might as well just enjoy it. Enjoy it. And yeah. uh if you're not gonna sell it anyway, it kinda doesn't matter. Um, so that's why when people ask me how much is it worth, well, you know, I I don't know, I haven't looked it up. No, it's just it's just a uh, preservation of wealth, isn't it? I mean, it's always going to be worth spot at least. We're always it? protected by the intrinsic. That's exactly right. Yep, it's a preservation of wealth, and it's fun. Um, and in fact, uh, Ania, hey, Ania's here. Hello, I was just getting ready to talk about Ania. Ania's here. Hello, Ania. Um, anyways, Ania made a comment on a video <clears throat> um, about the um what you might call what do you call those things the krugerand the silver krugerand sorry oh, yeah. and um you know that if you buy something because you really like it and you just have to get it then you know it's really doesn't matter because you just want one and if it's something that not many people have yeah you know, then you know it doesn't really matter about the price and that's exactly right and i because i've done that many times oh, yeah, we, all that. we all do right? that and uh, unlike something else, if you get an iPhone or uh, something else, then it will. Um, hey, look at that! You got different sizes. You are those all the sizes for the year um, two thousand? You got Correct. the ten, the two, and the one. They didn't make a five ounce. They didn't. No. Not nice. Bad, and no half ounce. Very cool. Now, did they make a kilo? Let me ask you that. 
<laughs> I think they did actually, but well, and the reason why I say is because I have the 2015. Uh, in the 2015, I got the the one ounce, the uh, and just just the bullion types. Yeah, the one ounce, the five, uh, the ten ounce, and then the kilo. Yeah, I've got a feeling though that the mintage for the kilo is um, unlimited, so they can restrike them at any time, which I think right. is why I've avoided the kilos. Yes, I think you're. I think you're right. Yes, that's right. Especially for especially for the lunars. By the way, Mode Grass, thank you very much for stopping by, and uh, he's leaving now. And you reminded me that I do need to mow my grass. And Poppy Stuff is leaving too. Well, thank you for coming by, Poppy Stuff. Very much appreciate it. Pop in again sometime, pun intended. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Leon likes my British accent. Well, yeah, so he does. Yeah, it's all that. And thank you. I, I try my best, you know what I'm saying, homie? I think it, I ought to try some British chocolate now. Yes, you should. Yes, have some British chocolate. Mm. I was saving this coin for a video, but I won't bother now. Wait a second. It's white? It is. Correct. You racist. <laughs> Very nice. White chocolate, cool. Probably has a well, seeing as, seeing as Sal always eats his cookies in the video, I thought I'll eat some chocolate. And I'm not eating anything, so you're, you're filling in the void with some good white chocolate. Nice. Mmm. Mmm. Very, very nice. Awesome. Very good. Salivates phrase, catchphrase. You've provided the mukbang for the evening. Thank you, sir. My Look, pleasure, sir. The bomb diggity. That that chocolate is culturally appropriated. That's right. And happy, <laughs> happy's offended by it. He needs a safe space, safe space because he's the definition of the of a snowflake. He needs a safe space now. Oh, I will provide you with all the shelter you need, Happy. I, in fact, I've hired a team of, of people to help um, um, uh, Kathy Griffin deal with her being bullied by the Trump family. So I will shelter you like we, I'm sheltering her. I've got chocolate crumbs everywhere now, look. Yeah. They will, <laughs> Leon says they will send you three refugees as a punishment. I know, I thought. <laughs> <laughs> He's called the German police already. Dear, dear. Yeah, that's what you call milk spot chocolate. Yes, yeah. very good, SH13. Milk spot chocolate. You nailed it. It's so nice, that chocolate, SH13, yeah. You nailed it. That's right, Stephen Wells. You're exactly right. John Hartley is here. How about beer in the shape of a coin? Wait. Oh, I'm espousing microaggressions. Oh, boy. Hey, I'm still under sh utter shock for pulling out of the Paris Accord. And uh, maybe that's because I drive a Civic. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Leo, but we called it from the Canadians. Yes. The poor Kathy Griffin. Boom, 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 boom. I don't have anything else classic. Let me see if I have something else classic to show. No, I don't think I do, really, Sal. Here we go. Here's something classic. Not to hand, anyway. 1850 large scent that's been heavily cleaned and plotted and dotted. Uh, definitely older than Silver Hair Stacker. Yes, this is definitely certifiably older than Silver Hair Stacker, but not as old as Rocky, which we haven't seen for a while. I hope he's okay. Yeah, what's happened to Rocky? Has he oh, disappeared? No. I don't know. There's been times where he, he just uh, takes a break for a while and does his thing and comes back. He's a lovable little curmudgeon. 
<laughs> we love Rocky. But Lane P, I'm sorry you missed it, my friend. Um, but at the beginning, I know you like good whiskey. Um, you'll see it from the beginning, but I put the whiskey away. I've actually gone to coffee. <laughs> but hey, I do want to show this is something highly anticipated. You're going to love this. You're gonna love, everybody will love this. Especially Belange P. This is specifically for Belange P. Not that. Not that. I don't ever want to bait you guys, okay? Miss me drinking uh, whiskey, Belange P, and getting plastered here on live tele. I mean, live YouTube vision. YouTube vision. Is that what we'll call it? See you later, Hydro Economist. Hey, see you, Hydro Economist. Thank you for stopping by. Very cool. You are awesome. Yes, I think I saw your last video, Hydroconomist. It's cool. You got shown some precious metals on there. I don't know, know much about hydroconomy. I'm a hydroconomaniac or whatever. It was, um, it was, uh, crap, I'm too drunk to, to tell you what the whiskey was. <laughs> wild turkey, wild turkey. It was 50, 100 proof wild turkey. But check this coin out here. What do you think this is going to be? Look at that. Here we go. Are you ready for it? Look nice. Ah, yes. You can imagine what this is going to be, can't you? Every single one of you, you're in awe. Everybody's silent. No one's saying anything. Not even CCT saying anything. Here we go. Well, because it's cool to have gold. <laughs> yeah, boom. very true. As, 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 a, as Silver Awesome 13 would say, boom. Look at that. Yeah. <laughs> It's a clad dollar coin that's worth a dollar. That's it. Ah. I should get some dislikes for that one, but I'm hoping I won't. <laughs> yeah. Just, you know, I thought I'd play a little trick on you guys. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> that thing. Sorry. Please forgive me. Even though I intentionally did that, knowing the consequences. That was a bad joke, wasn't it, CCT? It was. Almost as bad as this one here. Oh, crap. Well, if you got clad gold, then here I am with fake gold. Oh, oh, whoa, whoa. Wow, look at that. Is that brass? Yeah. Brass monkey, that funky monkey. It's a very old counterfeit. I don't think it's oh. a modern counterfeit. Well, this coin here is actually, it is a buffalo, okay? It's just a buffalo nickel. A monkey. <laughs> Modern bison nickel. But what happened is I got some of these cases from a coin dealer. So ah. you know what, I'll just put a, a cheap coin in to make it look. In fact, I think I did a video about packaging. And that was what I did. Hey there, uh, Vegan Silver Stacker. By the way, I'm, I'm up on um, uh, Steam It, but I couldn't find you on Steam It. Dag Steam It. Steam It yes. sounds like a cuss word, by the way. Yeah, and Silver Hustling 13 sent me the fake gold to uh, terminate, but I just haven't got around to doing it. Oh, a bit wow. That's almost too nice to terminate. <laughs> yeah, it is, which is why I haven't got around to doing it. Yeah, I'm yeah, I, don't, I, don't don't I don't blame you. I don't blame you. Wow. Crazy train. All right. Where are we at here? What time is it? Man, it's late for you, isn't it? Uh, yeah, it's midnight. Yeah, I really ought to probably be dropping out. I'm trying to figure this darn camera out here. Why it's, it's going to show some other coins. Let's see here. There's some, just a regular, um, oh yeah, you can, well, you know, this is probably about what it would sell for today, but I got this a while ago. I don't know. There's no CC on it. There's no CCT. There's no CCT on it either. 
<laughs> no, yeah. I was looking for the CC. Yeah. As you know. Whiskey Tom. Yeah, yeah, Melange P. Yeah, I, I don't I don't want to um get too drunk. Um actually I put that stuff away. And I'm having coffee now to try to wake up from my madness. But I promise I'll do it again. I'll have some more next live feed. I don't want to I think I got a little too carried away or that had the potential of that. Let's see here. What else? That's funny. That's funny, Sal. Leon doesn't like me because he I, I don't even drink tea. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Here's an ancient. Okay. Uh, Blanche P says, when handling coins, you need a more appropriate whiskey than wild turkey. Might I suggest Eagle Rare? Okay. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and some somebody else posted in a comment section about that, about like a six thousand or three thousand some odd dollar whiskey. It's amazing all the different kinds that are out there. Oh, you got an old Roman of you? Is that Roman? Yeah, I think it is Roman. Yeah. Mm. I don't know who the ruler is. Do you remember um, years ago when uh, Big Stack was around? He actually identified one of my Roman coins for me. Oh wow! Really? I'd never identified it. I'd had it decades. Yeah, and, uh, yeah. Well, and there's certain markings on them on the reverse that you can use. If you did a lot of research, you can tell by kind of the look of it, and you can kind of guess the period and some of the text on it. Leon wants me to send him this coin for free, so I like him again. <laughs> oh well, yeah. There you go. A three thousand dollar whiskey. That's like uh, two hundred million satoshis. Yes, that's right. If you're a Bitcoin a maniac, you know that a satoshi is the smallest unit of measure for Bitcoinitude. <clears throat> let's see here. Uh, let's see. The uh, vegan says, "Sal, do you mind if I do a dedication post to you on Steam?" It. <clears throat> no, 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 not at all. I don't really understand that. I, I did one post today on it. And just put a video in there. Uh, but I have no clue. I tried to find you on there, and I couldn't find you. <clears throat> and um, and I don't know what, what how it works and what the steam it. I mean, from what I read from the fact, the steam it dollars is just that. It's just a digital currency, their own digital currency. I don't think you can cash out. At least I didn't see anywhere where you can put in a PayPal account or anything like that. But I don't even know where you can spend steam it dollars or anything like that. But, hey, I signed up on your requests. And yeah, and, and uh, Monkey Swag says he didn't didn't realize that um, Big, Big Stack, Stack was in the Roman. Roman. I didn't. No. Know. He was able to identify that coin. So yeah, but Lange P would rather have the whiskey. I think I think so too. I'd rather have chocolate. Yeah, nice white chocolate. Well, it's probably um, time I parted company with you all. Okay. Well, as long as you're not saying goodbye, that's that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> no, thank you very much, sir, for coming. Pleasure on. to talk in with you, Sal. Hey, thank you, sir. Pleasure is all mine, and this coffee is all <laughs> mine too, by the way, because I I can't send it through the over the pond to you digitally. So, but thank you again for swinging by. You are the man, and um, I hope you have a wonderful evening and weekend. Yeah, me too. Yeah. I mean, and I'll say goodbye to everyone in the outside chat. Bye-bye, everyone in the outside chat. And I'm still here, by the way, when he, when he leaves. Just, yeah, you know. still there. <laughs> thank you all. Thank you. Or thank you, uh, CCT, for popping in. We, no we will talk to you soon. Yeah, catch you all later. Catch you. Bye. Bye-bye. Wow, that was – did you see that? He just swing. he just dropped out. Like, it was, it was, did you see the little thing go down? It just went – was pretty cool. Now this dragon coin, golden arm showed on his channel, and I love this thing. It's pretty cool. I got it for fifty dollars US. <clears throat> All right. Okay. Yeah, Ania's got to go as well. Uh, thank you, Ania, for stopping by. And by the way, for everyone else, I apologize if I'm missing some of your comments here, uh, but um, we're kind of. 
popping back and forth and chatting and rapping here with uh, CCT. So, yeah. Yep, he slid out, Silver Gator says. That's right. Good night, Ania. And Haffy's got to go too, man. Wow. Well, you take it easy. And you know what? That's probably a good hint. As people drop out of here like flies, I should probably drop out like a fly too. Like a super fly Jimmy Snuka type type of deal. But um, but yeah, this is just a nice coin. It's called the Lotus Dragon. They had one with the horse. I don't know that they still do them anymore, but these are nice pieces. Oh, oh, Haffy doesn't need to. Never mind. He doesn't need to go. Good. Whew. Whew. I was getting scared for a minute. Okay, so Bozo signed up for Coinbase uh, as well. $10 free money, not putting much in there. I didn't get any free money when I signed up. So Belange P has a puzzle for us. Okay, let's see what B Belange P's puzzle is. So I'm going to read this out. Oh, Collection King. Well, first of all, wait, before you do that, Belange P, let me see what uh, Collection King said. Can you repost your comment, uh, Collection King? And then we'll get to the uh, we'll get to the puzzle. Yes, I used to watch WWE. I haven't watched in a while. Mankind was one of my favorite wrestlers, and The Rock back in the day. Stone Cold Steve Austin. In fact, Donald Trump is the only president and presidential candidate to have gotten received a Stone Cold Stunner. So let's see what Collection King has to say. Then we'll get to Blanche P's puzzle. Let's see. Or maybe I'll just scroll up. Maybe Collection King is left. Let me scroll up and find it. I have an uncirculated silver Alexander the Great from 287 AD. Wow, that's cool, Collection King. Wow, that's awesome. A piece of history there, that's for sure. Very nice. Okay, now. That's awesome. All right, Belange P's puzzle. Does he have pins coming out of his head? Let's see what Belange P's puzzle is. Rocky Johnson. Hello, Lucien Dumitru. Good to see you from Bucharest, Romania. Nice to, for you to stop by. So Collection King bought a uh, 2017 African Lion one-ounce coin. 20% down is too high, Silver Hassan says. All right. Yes, when it became uh, PG rated, yeah. Turned bad. I hope um, Belange P didn't leave. We are like um, <clears throat> sitting on the edge of our seats so waiting for the um, puzzle. Okay, what price would gold need to have to reach the ratio against the M1 money supply had it had in 1980? Let me read that again. This is a uh, Belange P's puzzle. What price would gold need to have to reach the ratio against the M1 money supply it had in 1980? So first, let me uh, look up M1 money supply. So we can, uh, the metric for the money supply of a country includes physical money, both paper and coin, as well as checking accounts, demand deposits, negotiable or order withdrawal accounts. The most liquid portions of the money supply are measured in M1. Uh, so, uh, anybody want to venture a guess in the side chat? To reach the ratio of one one money supply it had in 1980. That's a tricky one. Frederick Brand. Okay, thank you, sir, for stopping by. Appreciate it, my friend. And he likes uh, Silver Huston 13's videos, too. Thank you. Thank you very much. Have a good night. Okay, we're getting some guesses here. $10,000, Bozo says. 7000 Chuck says. $42, Tony says. This is price, not ounces, by the way. $50,000, Heaton uh, Gregerson says. Zero under Lana Bingo was his name-o, Silver Austin says. Close, Chuck. 
seven thousand. I was gonna guess about I was gonna guess about eight or nine thousand dollars was gonna be my guess. Thousand dollar American Eagle, one tenth ounce gold and rare eagle. Swallow both of them. Five thousand gold tip says. Some good guesses here. I'm sticking with about between eight and nine thousand dollars. Oh, but good tips is the closest. Okay. Wow. Still, that's very high. And it just goes to show you that a gold is undervalued. So the answer is $5,300. $5,300 for an ounce of gold if it were to um, uh, have the, the ratio against the M1 money supply it had in 1980. Of course, now the money supply is much larger. So I wonder what it would be now. Hey, Silver Gator got it right. $5,300. Good job, Silver Gator. He guessed it after the answer was given, by the way, just so you know. $10 if it was $1,840, Offy Matrix says. Very good. Let's see here. Boom, Shalaka. Oh, I forgot to put this coin back. Now what price would it have to have to reach the ratio against the public debt it had in 1980? Ooh. Wow. Um, let me think here. If you got to do the math on that, um, then you would be probably... Less, much less is my guess. Uh, let's see here. Where's heading? 50,000 again. Oh, hey, hey, t take care. I'm Silver Austin 13. He's an Audi. He's an Audi. That's his way of saying goodbye, is to say he's an Audi. 2,000, Chuck says. I'm going to say with the public debt, because the debt was higher, much higher. I'm going to say 1500 No, I'm a little low. I'm a lot low. Uh, 3000 3000 is my guess, Belange P, against the ratio of the public debt. Let's see here. C. Nee says, from the funds available, 5% is the most that any say they allocate to commodities. Obviously, blue chip funds uh, is the last place to be if cash is crash is feared. But where is the best asset allocation? Whoa, the answer is 16000 Wow. crazy well darn yeah i guess that makes sense because the um i wonder what it would be now with today's m1 money supply and today's debt i have a feeling this is going to be a future belange p video but i could be right Yes, taxes suck for sure. I agree half-heartedly. No, full-heartedly. 0% tax on gold, coin, profit in Denmark. Oh, that's good. Ringstead hedge. Silver Gator thought it was going to be a, a uh, crossword puzzle. It's a cliffhanger. Very nice. So we won't know for sure if it's going to be a subject of a new video. But he does have something interesting to share with us all, Belange B does. Hey, that's a cool icon, Robert Morris. He's got the he's got a graph icon. That's pretty cool. We put that in here. <clears throat> so Belange B has something interesting to share with us. And with that, I need to leave. Oh man, I think we're gonna share something with us. 
but he's got a dinner date with his wife. Well, good night. Tell the wife I said hello. And um, and uh, thank you. And, and make sure your tip ratio to your meal is, is satisfactory. <laughs> no tax on gold here either. Only a silver. Silver has. But good night, Blanche. Be enjoy your evening and weekend. Thank you for stopping by, sir. As always, appreciate you very much. Definitely. Very nice. And I'm probably going to be bolting here soon. I thought I was on a pretty good amount uh, this evening. So I certainly do appreciate you guys, everyone, indeed. And I hope you all have a wonderful evening. And a multitude of gratitude as usual for you all. And enjoy your weekends and your coins, your rounds, your bars, the stock jockey says, and your coffee and your whiskey and everything else. You just enjoy it all. <clears throat> There's that burp. That was just for you. <laughs> that was just for you all. All right. Y'all have a wonderful evening. I'm out of here like last year. Take it squeezy. Don't be sleazy. Have a good night, everyone. Take care.